hey guys it's your boy Kim Pesa akiwa ndani ya Kim Pesa TV guys actually today ni kum maeneo ya Kibra at least nataka i just want to show the world my say huko Kibra cuz watu walikuwa wanasema so my ni cheap ama nini nini lakini at least unajua lazima tu kuje uone ni nini inaendelea mbele huko ndio ujue ukwe na ukweli and also i just want to try to walk in this slums because this is the largest slum in the east in africa so we just want to see what it's inside the is the largest slum in east africa i've been blessed with a friend and by the way th this friend maybe we are just looking alike <laughs> yeah, <we are. laughs> guys we are just looking alike with this my a friend of mine who have found him i found him so guys i just want to tell <coughs> the friend to tell us no not even to tell us i just want to walk with him with him in all the street in all the places in this street in italy slam all the places in this slums and he's the one who knows this place and by the way if you want to know more about a second place find someone from that place and he will tell you more and that's why i've decided by then nilikuwa nimekuja nimekutana tu na yeye hapa tumeongea na yeye akakubali at least anaweza nisaidia for us now to walk through this journey and we explore and we told we tell the whole world what's happening inside kibra so before i do everything or before we start working so at least inafahamu mjue mwenye mnatembea nayo ama okay. guys so let me now give him him chance to introduce himself and then he will tell you why he is here and what do what do he want to do here so it's your time my brother okay fine okay fine thank you very much hello guys hello everyone there oh my name is sir george oyer oh just as you have been told guys we are here in kibra just as you know that that this is the biggest slum in east africa this is the biggest slum where the visitors come from from various countries just to come and see the uh, here the, to, to see the slum here so oh uh, guys just tune in i just want to take you i just we just want to take you through the slums here or uh, to see we have we have so many we have so many changes a lot of changes uh, here 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 in the slums so <laughs> make sure you tune in or uh, Hello everyone, uh, it's Kim Pesa and welcome to Kim Pesa TV. Today uh, I am in uh, Kibra which has been chosen by the analysis of different institutions <coughs> and organizations so in the old well, world. Well, as the largest our... slum in Africa and so also yeah. as the poorest yeah. estate in yeah. Kenya. So now we are, we are just walking inside Kibra for us to explore and for us to expose to you what you never knew or what you should know about Kibra. Most of the things you have been you are reading in magazines but those ones actually they don't indicate what is inside Kibra. You can just see where we are walking now the way the some of the roads leading to where people uh, people rent uh, houses are and they are very very they are not in good condition you can even see the water and some of the students are even using this water to play and this is not healthy to them as you can see down there how the place is looking like now we found that here we are in a certain river and this the bridge which you can use to pass to the the other end so Mm -hmm. We being that being 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 that people in this area they live very healthy. We found a lady selling maize just uh, just uh, besides the the river on the other end. Alafu unapita tu bridge if unampata hapo. Even though they are not even considering the condition, I will just look that water which is there and even look the condition of the area. The area is not that healthy. We tried to ask her the price of the maize and he told, he told us that the maize is costing 10 shillings and that's not expensive. It's very cheap. And again, we, the, we, I think you have seen that, that river. We found this river in Kibra and we found that this river is called River Kibra. I tried to find the source of this river and later I realized that its source is from sewage which carries the human waste from different buildings 
Okay. As you can see, the water is not that safe for, and it's not clean. It's not, uh, it's not healthy for human being. And this one is now the aerial view of some of the I was building buildings. Yeah. A friend who was the resident of this area, and I just want to give him chance so that he can tell us small or he can tell us little about this this slum so before remember okay thanks so before let us now get from him my friend how are you okay fine thank you yes i'm doing good hello guys i'm uh, george uh, we are just now walking within uh, we are just walking in in the slums to see how kibira is developing Mm. Uh, of course, just as you know that this is the biggest slum in East Africa where most of the visitors come from outside countries. They come to see how Kibra is. You can just see this is, the, this is now called Kibira River. You can just show them this is called Kibira River. Yes. In fact, this is where the life is not expensive. In fact, if someone if someone's, uh, wants to, the same as in Kamamutu, kama mtu ameshindwa na Nairobi yeah. na amekwambia ametoka Kibira huyo mm. mtu ameshindwa na Nairobi kabisa <laughs> hakuna mahali hakuna estate ingine ambaye yeah. ataenda yeah. kama sio Kibira juu hapa yeah. kuna chakula yeah. unapata chakula ya 15 bob mm. unapata chakula hadi ya 10 bob yani whatever little the money you have yeah. utapata chakula na utasheba and you will call it a day yeah, so yeah. that's why we all love Kibira okay yeah, so any other question so if i may ask Mambo, Ukopoa, how are you? Yes? I ask. <laughs> okay, now I just want to ask you to say, okay, is it Nyumba? Yes. How much? Unaeza pata Nyumba ya pesa ngapi? Okay, hapa ndani, kuna kuanga na Nyumba. Siku hizi kitambo, around 2014-2015 there, kupata Nyumba ya mawe ilikuwa ngumu. It was very difficult to find a house which is built with a stone. Yes. But yes. but now, right now, yes. kupata hizo nyumba ni raisi. Mm. So, uko, uko enzi, unaeza pata nyumba eh, ni 1,000, zingine zilikuwa na, zinalipwa 500. But saizi kuna nyumba ya 2,000, one bedroom here in, here in Kibra. So, nyumba, yenye pesa yake ikujuu kabisa, maybe, mm, maybe, 4,000. Mm. Apo Four, ukipata... 4,000 ukukwa hile nyumba, yani tuseme nyumba ya wadosi. Yes, sasa hiyo ni nyumba ya wadosi. Hiyo yeah. nyumba, ukipata mm. nyumba kama hiyo, mm. ni nyumba ya mawe, <laughs> iko na tiles kwa floor, o, yo, yo plot iko na maji, mm. na tena iko na cho. Mm. Yeah. Okay. In fact, nowadays, mm. we have developed because we don't use flying toilets. Nowadays, we have toilets oh, for the sewer lines, we also have the toilets for fresh, fresh lives. It was, it was brought by a certain NGO here. Mm. Inyambapo unapupu kwa nyumba lafu. <laughs> <laughs> Alafu wanakuja, wanakuja after every week. Uh, they come and pick it and you pay something, something little. Okay. Yeah. To mean that nowadays Kibra is developing. Yeah, now, nowadays Kibra is developing. Very soon it will be, it will graduate from the slum from to the slum to estate. Estate. Yeah. Guy, congratulations, Watra Kibra. Yeah. Kindly those who are watching the, your live at Kim Pesa TV. If you live and you like this show, please subscribe. We, we still want to walk, cause to takwa na We will have some question to ask. Uh, as we walk, because we are going to go to the house, we are going to go to the house, we are to at least to connect with you, isn't it? So guys, let us now proceed walking. I know as we go, we will, you, you will find very, very interesting things in this place we call Cape. My friend, yes. maybe there is something I'm, maybe I'm forgetting. Is there anything you can add about this place we are in Cape? About this place, mm. I can just say that it is a very nice place to be. Mm. In fact, uh, uh, most of people comes from various estates, mm. for example, Kawangware or Dandora. They come to stay here just because life is expensive where they are, where they have been staying. Mm. So this is the this is the place where someone can afford anything that you have. Mm. Yeah. And the, and again, I was even forgetting about something. Mm. Now here we are, we are in Kibra. It yeah. is true that this is the stronghold of the opposition leader. Exactly. 
in fact we were forgetting we were forgetting uh, tulikuwa tunasahau kitu muhimu sana eh. hapa ndiyo ngombe ya ODM baba Raila Molo Dinga so let me just tell these are our fans one thing that no one can, can come from anywhere to come and and talk talk negative things about baba this is this is where baba first of all became the member of parliament is when he comes is is when he becomes he went he went at the national to vie for the presidency so this is the bedroom for raila amolo dinga okay guys uh, you, have, you have seen because uh, odm is the biggest and the largest party in kenya and it's being recognized by mo many people so again is there something uh, hey, maybe i'm forgetting about because maybe unajua wewe ndio unakaa huko at least una, kuna vitu zenye unajua na mimi si, na sijui si ndio yes. at least ka maybe kuna yenye imebaki unaweza tuambia tupige story kiazi okay before we proceed mm. uh, guys first of all let us subscribe so before kama uja subscribe hapo make sure you subscribe to promote kimpesa tv yeah to promote kimpesa tv mm. so maybe yenye naweza kuwa nimesahau hapa ndani hapo awali hakukuwa na maji Una, ulikuwa unapata watu wanatoka hapa kwenda olympic from here up to olympic is uh, around 8 to 9 kilometers mm. so hapo ndio watu walikuwa wanaenda kuchotea maji lakini siku hizi unachota tu maji kwa mlango because of shofko we have a, uh, uh, in fact it is the largest ngo in kenya nowadays largest NGO in Kenya which is based in Kibra which is called Shofko. Shofko I think you can just you can even show them the building for Shofko that's the building for Shofko or the the blue and the red one that's the building for Shofko. So Shofko oh, has provided water into into the slum so nowadays we don't struggle to fetch to, to look for water. What we mean that what we said that Kibra very soon Kibra will graduate from slam to estate yeah. let us now proceed with our journey guys it's really a nice saw the, this is the bridge mm. which will the bridge yeah mm. so when when you want to come from the other far end you want to go to the other side this is the bridge that uh, that you can we use it uh, yeah. okay Okay, th thanks. <laughs> yes, we have a we have a YouTube channel called Kim Pesa TV. Kim Pesa TV. And very soon we will graduate to t TV. I want to see myself in university. <laughs> okay, now I think you have heard the name of the TV, isn't it? Kim Pesa TV. Kim Pesa. Eh, Kim Pesa, alafu unaongeza tu hapo TV. Okay. Oh. Asante ni? Asante. Hey. Now, my friend. Let's kidogo. You have said this bridge was built by This bridge was uh, built by the NGO. Uh -huh. That I've already told you that it's called Shofko. So, Shofko. Yeah, uh, Shofko communities. Uh, yeah. Okay, to me, Shofko, Shof, Shofko. <laughs> they are trying to modernize the Kibra. The, yeah, they, they are trying to modernize the uh, slum uh -huh. into, into an estate. Uh -huh. Yeah, to, so that Kibra, one time, one day, to become like a Langata, uh -huh. or like Karen, uh -huh. and ETC. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we have many developments here. Okay, that's... Just as you can see, this okay, is a that's... nice, a very nice bridge. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is the real which I talked about to Tony from the Kibro, Karen Iman West. And Thank that the bridge which was built by the NGOs called Soft Soft Softco. So, guys, the people of Kibra are now happy kona, kona. with the program <laughs> which is being carried okay, on by the up. NGO, non government organization called Softco. How are you? Fine. You are fine? Yes. Ah, okay, uh, this Kim Pesa. Uh, Unaitwa? Osea. Osea? Yes. Huku ndi mwalimu Yes. Okay, so what can you tell these people uh, about, your, about Kibra? 
Yeah, Kibra is good mm-hmm. and there's developments. Yeah. We see a bit past a new bridge here. Yeah. 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 And, uh, okay. Hey, guys, today what I'm just hearing people they are just appreciating Sofco. That's very good. Yes. And I think we are doing a good job, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so this Kim Pesa TV in partnership. Yes. That's I pay people this area they are just excited about what non in non government organization is doing in this area doing a very work a good job for them the things they are happy to celebrate let us see yes guys just as you can see or uh, just as i told you that uh, uh, in kibra we have a lot of developments or uh, nowadays we don't go far to fetch water this is this is one of the this is one 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 of the places where we used to fetch water which was brought by the ngo that i told you that is called shofko you can just sh- you can you can even show them there on the top there is a there is a big tank on top of, of there there's a big tank on to- on top of it there now this is where when when there is a certain key there is a certain key you place here after you you place it here now the water will come out from this pipe there are two pipes here there are two pipes here these these are the places where the water will come through so this is one one of the example just to show you that kibra is developing and there are a lot of changes let me just As take you, you that very soon yes it will be graduate yes ki, yes ki, very soon kibra will graduate from the slum <laughs> to an estate yes. yeah okay now is anything uh, I, i don't think there is anything let's just take this our guys through waone vitu vitu zenye ziko hapa mzuri mzuri sasa I, just as I told you before that Kibra is a nice place to be. Nowadays we have a lot of changes. We don't nowadays we don't bathe in a basin that you take a water, you take a basin, you go to a bathroom, you bathe. Nowadays we have a shower. Just as you can see on top here, we have a shower which uh, if you want hot water, you just turn this switch on and uh, if you want uh, a cold water There is also a certain switch here. So these are one of the developments that we are showing you that we have in Kibra. So nowadays Kibra at least is developing. We have changes and we have seen a lot of changes through the NGO that is called Shofko, which is the biggest NGO in Kenya. So tune in, make sure you subscribe to Kim Pesa TV to promote each and every one. Thank you guys. Tell them that Kim Pesa TV is yes. bringing them the most and the beautiful content. Yes, this is this is the most th- this is this is the TV that is bringing you the most and beautiful contents that <coughs> So, so guys, have, I don't know how that's how people, people of this area they are very very serious. happy about the development which is going on. So guys I'll just take this opportunity to thank thank you for watching and this one and this one was it? just Kibra documentary to mean that I'm just thanking you for watching Kibra documentary part 1 with Kim Pesa TV and please watch part 2 of this documentary for you to have the information that you wanted to hear from this great and the largest slum in Africa guys I kindly subscribe yeah. and do something don't please don't yeah. miss part 2 part 2 is having a very very amazing things and beautiful things for you to watch